All right, let's take you outside to the sunshine we're seeing across our ABC 10 News sky cams. This time yesterday, many of the coastal areas were stuck in the clouds already. We did see better clearing today. That's exactly what I was expecting. Tomorrow and even into Thursday, there are going to be some coastal areas that you may not see much sunshine or at least partial clearing. But you can see on our satellite imagery, everybody's seeing those sunnier skies right now. Those clouds will be rolling in before the sun sets along our coast and then spreading inland as we head into the overnight hours. Today wasn't quite as warm as it was yesterday. Ramona right now at 90 degrees. That is the warmest spot west of the mountains. We're in the 60s in Del Mar and in La Jolla. Carlsbad at 67 degrees, 110 in Ocotillo Wells. So the inland neighborhoods were a little bit cooler as expected, and then the coastal areas were a little bit warmer because we did see better clearing of the marine layer. Everybody is going to be seeing those temperatures dropping just a few degrees here or there as we head into the end of the week. Temperatures along our coast tomorrow once again. We're looking at 60s and 70s, right about 75 at the Oceanside Airport. Cooler if you're going to be at the harbor. Mid 80s for most of the inland, inland neighborhoods. Fallbrook a little cooler, 82 degrees, 84 in Julian, as well as in Escondido. 88 in Ramona, which is warmer than the rest of us, but it is cooler than it has been. If you recall yesterday, we were in the mid-90s, 93 degrees. So high pressure, that's that bubble of warm air. However, unlike during the summer months, our air conditioner is also working. That marine layer is with us, so that's why we're not seeing exceptionally high temperatures, even though high pressure is in place. Then we have this little storm system that's going to be passing by to the north of us, and it's going to help usher in thicker marine layer clouds the next couple of days and also that slight dip in temperatures. So our 10 News Futurecast doing a really nice job highlighting by 7 a.m. almost all coast and inland neighborhoods are going to be waking up with overcast skies and then inland neighborhoods, most likely areas like Ramona, maybe Fallbrook, waking up to some patchy fog. And by the afternoon, inland neighborhoods, we're going to clear out easily. But check it out, along our coast, there are going to be some areas that you may only see a couple hours of sunshine before those clouds roll back in and there could be a few spots that don't see any sunshine tomorrow. Similar pattern on Thursday. By Friday, we will start to see better clearing of the marine layer. Now, along the coast, temperatures really aren't going to change here. Again, natural air conditioner of the marine layer, it's working. So temperatures are going to remain in the 70s here. Inland neighborhoods, we were in the 90s a couple of days ago. We're going to be seeing temperatures tapering off into the low to mid 80s the rest of this week. Morning clouds clearing out to sunny skies. Most areas sunny by mid to late morning. And then by next week, temperatures do start to go back up again. For the mountains, we're going to be generally staying in the low to mid 80s heading into next week. Sunday looking like the coolest day in the low 80s. Plenty of sunshine, no marine layer here and the deserts closer to 8, 98 degrees is average. We're going to see above normal temperatures well into next week.